Hello everyone and welcome to the Dark Side of Magic. Uh, thanks for coming to join in the fun. My name is Cody and today we're going to get back to some of our GameStop haul from Black Friday. Uh, they had buy one get one 75% off. Um, so I picked up two, two bundles. I'm not going to open the Corset 2019 right now. I'm just going to do the uh, Guilds of Ravnica bundle and uh, see how we do there. So let's get to it. And some of you are probably actually going to laugh at me because I have never actually opened a bundle before. Um, which probably is surprising to some people. Um, never opened a bundle. I've never opened a deck builder's toolkit either. So um, this is going to be a slightly new experience. Trash. I've seen a lot of them opened, but never opened them one person. Only. This is going to be very cool to have. I like, uh, I don't know, I guess I'm more of a set, set collector than anything, so this would be nice to have, like, the whole list of all the stuff. And it's going to be cool, the lore and all that stuff, so that's kind of cool to have. <clears throat> a little cheap storage box here. Cool, cool. I feel like they could put a little bit more into that. I mean, it's kind of chintzy. And it's a little busted up here in this corner. But hey. That's not that's not what this is for. This is for all this stuff in here, right? <laughs> ain't, about, ain't about that cheap little uh, cardboard box. Art in, some art in here. I've seen some that has some pretty cool art on the inside. This does, looks kind of lackluster, but uh, okay. I'm just going to set it off to the side. I'm not going to mess with that. But yeah, I like the boxes. You know, they're pretty cool. So, that's so interesting. What in the world? Okay, so I got another filler piece in there, it looks like. Interesting. Alright, let's set the top off to the side. Let's see. We got our 10 packs here. Little. Supposedly this fits well over 100 cards, so it's you know, good for putting your deck in or whatever, separating your rares, whatever. We got a Boros, I think. It seems to be <laughs> that most of these have a Boro dice in them. Uh, Boros dice in them that I've looked at. A um, couple of uh, helpful cards here. <laughs> and then this land pack here that has one of each land and foil that you can only get through buying in this bundle. So that's kind of cool. And that'd be cool to have. <clears throat> um, Let's see. What do you guys think? I'm thinking 13. Ah, oh, 16. Almost. Of course, that got in the way. I think it probably would have gone to 13 because 13's right there. Oh, so close. But it hit the packs here. All right, so I'm going to pick one of these at random here. And I'm going to go for that one. I'm setting that aside. That's for something else. All right, so let's bust these open here and see how we can do. Hope everybody's doing good. Hope everybody's doing good. Had a good weekend. Good week. Let's see. Let me get up in here in the frame. Alright. I don't need much from this set anymore. Um, Demotion. Invert and Invent. I'm going to play a couple of those. I'm going to build an Is It deck and see if I can get it to pop off. <laughs> Glow Spore Shaman. And a Guild Mages Forum. Alright, not too bad. Not too good, but not too bad. A Boros Killgate and a Soldier Token. Alright. Keep enough room here. Hopefully, we hit something good. Youth and Assassin's Trophy. It's 
still haven't pulled an assassin's trophy. Alright, we got a foil on this pack. Hopefully it's something good. Boros Challenger. Mentor. Mentor. Gargoyle. <laughs> Gatekeeper Gargoyle. City Watch Sphinx. And a Light of the Legion. Alright. Another mentor. I feel like this card's a little underrated, honestly. It's a 5-5 with Mentor, so it's going to be Mentor in a lot of stuff. And then when it dies, you put a plus one, plus one counter on each white creature you control. So, I, I don't know, I think it's a little underrated. Let's see what we got here. Sworn Companions. So, alright, we got a... We got a pretty uh, boros -y. Yeah, I'm coining that phrase, borosy. Mm, pretty borosy pack there. Um, anyways, moving on. <laughs> Selesnia Guildgate and Insect Token. Alright, let's see. Yeah, I only need a couple of mythics and an assassin's trophy. Um, other than that, I think I got, I think I've got all the rares taken care of. Besides, assassin's trophy is a rare, so yeah. Other than that, uh, guild summit, a league guild mage, three in a blue. Tap it and draw a card. Copy target instant or sorcery spell you control with converted man to cost X. You may choose new targets for the copy. Cool, cool. I have to run a couple of those in that is it deck. Goblin banneret. And our rare is a mission briefing. That thing has tanked. I think it's like two bucks now or something like that. Is it guild gate and a soldier token? Alright, moving on. Three packs deep, and we're not doing great. <laughs> Wonder City Necrolisk. This is an interesting uh, tribal here, zombie lizard. Pay one, sacrifice another creature, put a plus one, plus one counter. An Undercity Necrolisk. It gains menace until end of turn. Activate this ability only any time you could cast a sorcery. It's pretty decent actually for a 4 drop 3-3. Three, three. And you can pump it, so I mean, it's not too bad. Affectionate Indrick. And Discovery and Dispersal. And our rare. Oops is a blood operative. Three drop for a three one lifelink. Vampire assassin. When blood operative enters the battlefield, you may exile target card from a graveyard. Whenever you surveil if blood operative is in your graveyard, you may pay three life. If you do return blood operative to your hand. So it's pretty cool because you can keep just bouncing it and exiling cards from graveyards, you know? Get rid of stuff that, you know, if, you're, if your opponent's trying to play some graveyard shenanigans, you can just exile the stuff from their graveyard. <clears throat> or if they're doing stuff with, uh, like, is it where, you know, Enigma Drakes and stuff like that. Like crackling Drakes. Is it Crackling Drakes? I don't think it's Crackling Drakes. But I know is uh, Enigma Drakes, they have that, uh, they get plus one, plus one for each... Uh, instant and sorceries and graveyards, stuff like that. So it might help out in that situation. Okay. <clears throat> so it's pack five. All right. Goblin and 
Vamos a descargar. All right. A Ledev Champion. Sprouting Renewal. Wanda Vertebrae. And our rare is a Thief of Sanity. All right. Cool, cool. It's a Spectre. Three drop for 2-2 two, two Flyer, and when it deals combat damage to a player, look at the top three cards of that player's library, XI one of them face down, and put the rest into their graveyard. For as long as that card remains exiled, you may look at it, you may cast it, and you may spend mana as though it were mana of any type to cast that spell. Pretty sweet. So let's need a guild gate and a soldier token. Alright, four more to go. Starting to wonder if we set our uh, mythic off to the side. Cause I think generally there tends to be at least one mythic in a bundle, but maybe I'm wrong. We'll see. Eight, nine, alright. Another foil. A whispering snitch. Still love this artwork. He's getting his little vial of blood there, his little payoff. I don't know if you can see it in the slide or not. <laughs> Whenever you surveil for the first time each turn, Whispering Snitch deals one damage to each opponent and you gain one life. Interesting little card. One, three for two. Alright. Night Veil Predator. Flight of Equinox. And our rare is a it's a mythic Tristani Discordant. We got one right there. Let's see. Yep, yep, you can see it. Cool. Another Tristani Discordant. Alright, I think it's our third one. Wow. Other creatures you control get plus one plus one. It's a five drop for one four. When Tristani Discordant enters the battlefield, create two one one white soldier creature tokens with lifelink. At the beginning of your end step, each player gains control of all creatures they own. Kind of interesting. And a foil, Mephitic Vapors. Yeah, that's kind of interesting. I'm looking at foil. Let's see if I can get that get that effect to bounce off here. Yeah, it's kind of kind of hard. It's kind of it's got some pretty. Let's see. Oh, there you go. That's pretty decent. Lots of blues and greenish aqu aquamarine looking colors. Pretty sweet looking. Uh, I like it. And is it Gilgate and a soldier token? Alright, we got a mythic out of there. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Alright. Alright, rock charger. Crackling Drake. Yeah, there you go. Is equal to the total number of instant and sorcery cards you own in the exile and graveyard. So, I mean, the Thief of Sanity, or no, not Thief of Sanity, the Blood Operative, you know, that wouldn't, uh, that wouldn't really affect this one because it still counts the cards in exile, so. Um, but anyways. <clears throat> you also get some uh, card advantage with that Crackling Drake. Book Devourer, and our rare is a Chamber Century. Alright. Oops. And the Mirror Guildgate and an Elf Knight token. Alright. Uh oh. Alright, technical issues here. Hold on a second. Alright, I think we're back good here. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sorry about that. Got Might of the Masses. Sorry. 
our first uncommon, Grappling Sundew. Oh, 04 Defender of the Reach. We Dragonauts. And an Amara Soul of the Accord. I think that's our fifth or sixth one of that. <laughs> Boros Guildgate and a Soldier Token. I mean, she would be good for uh should be good for a Selesnya token deck for sure. Very good card for that. <clears throat> As would be this Tristani Discordant. Alright. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Got a respon oh how did I say response of resurgence? It looks like it. <laughs> An integrity and intervention. Plague Crafter. Alright, that's not too bad. Swath Cutter Giant. And an Assure and Assemble. Too bad. Again, another Selesnya uh, <laughs> uh, token token card there. Another Selesnya token card. Yeah. So there's how we did there. Guild Mages Forum, Light of the Legion, Mission Briefing, Thief of Sanity, Blood Operative, Chamber Century, Mara, and Assure and Assemble. So, uh, Thief of Sanity is probably the best hit out of the rares there. Uh, Tristani Discordant is our mythic. I think it's like three or four bucks. So, alright. I uh, hope you liked the video here. Uh, quicker than most of my videos. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, anyways, uh, so I hope you liked the video. If you did, please take the time to hit that like button down there. It doesn't take much. Just tap on it real quick. If you're not already, hit the subscribe button down below and uh, hit that bell so you can get notified when I drop new videos. Um, but yeah, definitely biggest thing, please hit that like button down below. Um, there's, I'm going to have a bunch of links down in the description down here for the 31 day giveaway from a, presented by Exotic MTG. If you don't know about it, if you've watched any of my videos, you probably already do. But if you don't know about it, please check that stuff out. Um, I'll try to have all the links that you need down in there. Uh, follow us on social media. You'll get updates on that pretty much every day. Um, yeah. Their, their videos are dropping. We're, we're getting into the, the nitty-gritty here. Uh, we're almost to the, uh, the ultimate giveaway on December 25th coming up. So... Uh, if you want to be in on that, you should definitely check out that Gleam link. Um, and again, thank you for watching. Thanks for coming to join in the fun. And we'll hope you see you soon here on the Dark Side of Magic.